I kept sending messages. Okay, we're getting ready to unmute here. Oh, wait. What happened? Make sure we're live. We are. Are we? Yeah, yeah, it says right there. I'm just checking on that. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> hey, everybody. How we doing? Doing all right? Doing well. We are, we are back for another special Christmas episode of the Coach's Box. The second one. Can you believe it? Have we been around that long? We have wow. been around that long. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Uh, Isn't that cool? Yeah. And, 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 finally, we have a special event that's going to take place later this evening. Jarvis, anything that maybe you want to let the folks know that's, that's watching at home? For some reason, I had a buy in my face because Chris. Chris volunteered me. <laughs> You're damn right I did. You're taking one for the team because that's what the people wanted, Jason. Yeah, that's right. You realize we were... Me bows, <laughs> hey, we were, we were four followers away when that commercial came out, and literally within 10 minutes we had 1,200. That's that is awesome. I kept getting your friend so-and-so accepted your invite to the Jason what? I said that out months ago. They're just out. Yep. Months. Many of them months. <laughs> but it's the uh, it's the holiday special this evening here at the Herculean Wabachanga. And uh, Joel and everybody. Holiday. Yeah. Joel and everybody at Wabachanga once again every week. Rich is the, uh, the coach's box. And we've got everybody here this evening. And we figured we'll talk about some sports, and then we've got some holiday-type questions and, and uh, some this or that that we'll go through. But uh, what's everybody looking forward to now that we're all kind of on, on Christmas break? Uh, several of us have some, some Christmas tournaments coming up next week. Uh, what, are y'all, what are y'all looking forward to in the tournaments that's going to be taking place next week? I, I, I mean, I, I'm just – I'm kind of excited. Uh, I mean, we, we – we're, we're four and four. Um, I thought we played a really good defensive game the other night, and I really liked some of the stuff we did there. But uh, just as far as some of the stuff that we, we kind of tweaked and adapted, I'd like to see how it goes. Go over to Rolla and play some schools that don't see us a lot or anything. And um, we pick up, we play Rolla first. And, um, and Coach Miller over there, he's a pretty good guy. No relation? <laughs> no. Nope. Terrible no. name. Man, you shut your mouth when you say stuff like that. <laughs> no, it, it, it'll be fun for us. Um, you know, and the kids the kids like the trip. The trip's great. It's overnight. They pay for everything. We're going to be, be living large. Rala. Yeah, not the kids. Wait, wait, yeah, let me clarify there. So, I was like, man, man, the kids pay for everything. But, no, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a good trip, and I think it's, you know, I, I think we're – I think it's going to be a good thing for us. I, I want hopefully again we go two and one. Yeah, I mean that, that's what you're always looking, trying to do if you get into a We talked a little bit about that last week about would you rather go two and one or one and two? And Jarvis, I know you're eating a little uh, late dinner here, but what uh, what are things looking like for you over the well, annual Christmas tournament? Well, uh, I got the film of your guys' game and. I've uh, watched a little bit of that. Uh, Which one? You against Hillsboro. I mean, oh. I got Hillsboro in the Christmas tournament. Oh. I'm not watching you guys. You know? so, so. Hold on, you sent a film? I got connections. <laughs> <laughs> I have connections. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we Zach got Hillsboro, and uh, the winner of that probably most likely will play against Park Hills. So, uh, hey, if you win a game, congrats. And... So, uh, I'm kind of like Chris. I'd like to at least play three, whether that's one and two or or we go the other way. If we go the other way, I mean, maybe some good things can happen. I don't know. Uh, a lot of good teams down there at that tournament. There, there is. It's a, you know, it's one of the premier Christmas tournaments that, that takes place. And, and it, it's large schools, small schools, and kind of everywhere in between. And, you know, whoever's going to wind up winning that thing down in Park Hills, and that, that's going to be uh, another their chat going for the rest of the season, probably something to hang their hat on going into uh, district season time. 
Well, I think that, uh, you know, again, it's those Christmas tournaments that I think if, uh, you know, it can give you a little bit of kind of like a, a push going into the new year. Yeah. And that's what you're looking for. I mean, you're looking for a little momentum. At the same time, there's some other things with some, you know, the kids get a chance to take that break. And uh, we get we give the kids some time off for, for the holidays and be with family and stuff. But really, yeah, I don't practice all the time. Just most of the time, I don't practice all the time. But when I do, so when it's like, I need to I need to put that on a shirt. You're practicing on the twenty fifth. I'm not. I refuse. Day after. We're in your turn off. Yes, so I, I expect a fully stocked hospitality room. Yeah, right. Over, yeah, at, uh, over at, uh, well, hey, I'm There's a concession stand. Okay, well, oh, hey. spend your money there. Uh, oh, now we got to spend money, right? <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I could have told you there was one. Hey. hey that, Ms. Schomburg and Mr. Schomburg years ago, they put on the best hospitality room over there. I mean, for, I can charge $350 a team or 400 or whatever, you know. Maybe we can get a hospitality room, but I'm trying to keep it cheap. Why don't you ask some volunteers to maybe... Because everyone that works in the tournament is volunteer. Oh. And I don't want to add more volunteers to the volunteer list. But, huh. And I'll be there all three days the whole tournament when I'm not at Park Hills. So. Yeah. I mean, it's a little, good little fundraiser for a basketball program. And, um, not too many great tournaments out there, so I agree with that. We used to have a freshman one, but we got rid of that, and the St. Paul took it over in January. We're in it. Uh, Justin, I said, hey, man, you're going to drop this turn and you want to take All about it. Glad he did. Put that, I started that thing. But it, it, it kind of geared to Polaris hard. It was. It was. My first year coaching ever at San uh, I started that thing. Black Cat Boots was golf. Or, uh, uh, golf. Oh, golf, wow. Well, wow. it's going to be 70 degrees on Saturday, so I might as well take the golf. I mean, I'm thinking about Good God, that's Christmas awful. Day, go golfing or something. I mean. But, uh, you know, that uh, that tournament started back in 2000, I think it was 5 6. Oh, yeah, I think this would have been the 13th year. Would have been the 13th Yeah, we took a couple of years off because we had um, only four teams and a couple of them didn't have it, so we didn't add a couple, so we did take two years off. So, would you ever take off, maybe due to COVID? If you had to? I, I have, last there, year. There, well, I'm just saying, would you, would you just go ahead and, <laughs> and forfeit the tournament if, forfeit the tournament if that were to take place? I mean, like, forfeit. Well, here's the news that just came out earlier today. Is that the college football playoff championship can be crowned via COVID related forfeit? What? Yep. Yes. COVID we, we college watch football. The news? Yeah. I don't watch college those. football playoff. Never. The champion can be crowned via COVID related forfeit. That's horrible. That's like falling forward. So. This is pretty bad. Are you on that committee? Am I on that committee? No. <laughs> no, did I, did I say play? I'd say play. play. You gotta let the kids play. You gotta let the kids play. So, I mean. Over the holidays? I thought you were. You don't like holiday tournaments. It's not because it's the first game's on New Year's Eve. Well, uh, you know what? That's holiday. New it's holiday Year's time. Eve. Holiday time. New Year's Eve. Holiday time. <laughs> you're like, nope, can't play. Uh, no holiday uh, tournaments. If you're not playing at midnight, it's perfectly fine. You just, just wishy wash. Just keep, just, just, don't, don't take a side. It's fine. So, I mean, what they said a new college football playoff written this week in response to the surging uh, variant allows teams to, to advance to the national championship and ultimately win it by the opponents having the fourth That now, sucks. My question would be, though, is it surging the variant? Yeah. Omicron. That sounds like a transformer to me. Yeah. Aren't they all vaccinated? No, it, it, the vaccinations, you can still spread it. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought we all need to get vaccinated. That's what I heard. 
If we want to throw stats out, they just had a stat that says 75%. Numbers can be the, manipulated. Okay, 75% of the people in Jefferson County that have it are unvaccinated. So yes. Well, great number. <laughs> I wish they'd give out the numbers of the people that got vaccinated this week. Well, let's do some well, math. One hundred minus seventy-five. Okay, you're, t- and you're telling me those numbers are right. Where did Jason go to high school at? <laughs> well, uh, what I'm seeing is uh, I teach I social the studies. Real numbers. Did, are they? Wait, wait, wait. They give out whatever numbers is on there. You know. hey, in math, it, hey, is, in math, aren't there real numbers and and there are irrational there. numbers? Negatives. It's like there's an I in there somewhere. I would vaguely there's remember an that. There's I. an I. That's like a negative. A number that doesn't exist. It, it, it's not real. It's, it isn't. It, it is isn't. real it's, because it's an I. It's, an, it's, it's totally not exact. real. But we really, we really got to find out this. Exactly. So Brian Deary wants to know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, McVeigh, you sound like you're in the bathroom closet talking. <laughs> Hold on. Is it? Are you sure it's me or is it Riley's <laughs> meme? Riley's picture? <laughs> Riley's number oh, two word for. You guys talk and I won't while uh, Kevin gets over. Well, yeah, the ratings are going to go up. Hey! Hey! Ten viewers. Wah, wah. Hey, going to shut up. <laughs> so bad. We better, we, somebody we better fill, you, fill us up. You better stop talking about officials. I just saw a couple of them and just got popped on here. So. I haven't said a word oh, about officials. Oh, oh. <laughs> on air. On air. I agree with that. Totally agree with that. It, it's okay when they do. There's three of them. I, I wanted to. Ref, I wanted. To, I wanted to go somewhere else, and I just. Uh, I caught myself. Totally caught myself. I know that they do a job that there's no way, and you know what that I would do. Yeah. No way. No. Yes, some fans. I not do that job. Well, it's a tough job. But it, I, it's not the job for me. Well, it sounds the, like... You know, the job for you is to yell and complain at them. <laughs> hey, he has not yelled the last couple of games. Dude, did you see the picture? He was really grunting and yelling. He wasn't grunting at that. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, Miller has... Well, I, I, I mean, the dude's already cut, too. I, 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 I sent his boss a message last night as I was watching the game. I sit across the I like. I like this. This is I great. Said, hey, a seatbelt on that on your coach down there or not? He's pretty quiet tonight. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Is it maybe because he already has two on the year or something? And he didn't send me a response back. So uh, I said, I have it a few days. After the, response back. after the game, yes. I said, What, you're not even going to respond back to me? And he goes, oh, I was thinking about how I should respond back to that. And I didn't want to upset my friend Chris. So he's like, I just thought I'd better just not respond. So. I haven't been told. Anything of the hey, you need to chill out or nothing like that. I have the full support. You you were pretty good last night. I, had I some, you had some chances. Oh, uh, there was a couple of I, I did I questioned you some of those things. That, that I was pretty darn good by a few people were at I the would. game that they would have probably been thrown out of that. They said that they were completely shocked that Jarvis didn't get teed up and thrown out, and they wanted to just double. Call me. They called me to double check on you. Call you, make sure you have a stroke or something because you were so like you could see the veins just popping out in your head, but you weren't saying anything. It was just like a so so. And then I can see. Yeah, you gotta have the same demeanor of the president of the United States. You know, it's not saying a whole lot and stroking out. Look. Well, I tell you, I tell you, <laughs> I didn't vote for. I mean, <laughs> I just want to. Hey, but all you can say. Is Tap our hats to say that the officials with Bruce are better than there. Wow, I that's know. that's bold. I hope, I hope that's a bold right. statement, Cotton. That's, <laughs> that's a bold oh, statement. I, I said it was like playing at St. Vincent North. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh. I think it's better down there. Wow. That's St. Vincent. Wow. Then, then wow. I don't want to go either. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. get to go to one of them. <laughs> only get to go to one this year. I don't want to go to either place and uh, look up records and where where teams are winning at. Oh, yeah. Doesn't lie. Stats don't lie. 
They, numbers can be manipulated. <laughs> oh, they can. They can. They can. That, that's an irrational they number can. that you have over here. Some people play really well at home versus other places. I'm sure they do. So, well, hey, they here, play good at your place. Well, that's when like, Bruce brings up <laughs> his people. <laughs> hey, speaking of playing good at, at your own place, let me ask you something, Coach. Sure. Uh-oh. From what I hear, I, I hear Jason's daughter can really shoot the absolute <laughs> poop out of the ball. Jeez. I got to ask the question that all oh. these people keep asking me. Mm-hmm. Why isn't she getting some varsity time? Hold on, can I move? So I can talk to each other. I can tell you why right now. She is not ready for varsity basketball. But know. wait, wait, wait. Hey. And she has a dad that doesn't question coaches or what they do. I love it. Hey, but you know what? You can bring a kid off the bench who isn't ready for varsity ball, but if they can fill it up, they're like the microwave. Okay, now let's, you don't have to, if if she's your daughter, and I know you're just like, you know, okay. I don't know how many of those were back or three. Do they count the same? Do they count? Yeah, they do. They 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 have an asterisk. Do they have an asterisk by how many? If Buddy was watching right now, he would be my witness. 18 every game almost. Valley contested That's right. right in his face, end of the third quarter, banks it in. I mean, it, it happens to us. It's like a curse. Well, I agree. Uh, how, many, how many times have you seen it happen to me? Double? At least three. <laughs> well, I, I, on the films I watch, I mean, it, well, people yeah, told me. Sure people told me. I, I don't know. I, I, wish, I need your education job so I can have more time to watch films. And Disney Plus. I'm in there trying to teach American history, trying to mold the mind of the future of Herculane. <laughs> you, you are. Yep. Oh, I will tell you. But no, I mean, I, you know, maybe next year when my daughter's sophomore and draining all that stuff, then maybe we'll talk. She's a freshman. She's got a pair of dudes. That's not at this day and age. I mean, not really. Well, hey. That's not the common you, man. And, common, uh, and coach, he makes the choices. I'm not in practice. I don't know what Hold on, timeout. Timeout. Wow. Hold on, we need a Riley Blair. 60 second timeout on this one. Hold on, timeout. Did you guys get the, you get the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even watch them yet. Imitating that, that, the girls' basketball program today must have imitated all of the, the ways that Coach Blair plays. So we had, we had a five minute video, so you don't know. <laughs> So, so many. Oh, it was a competition. We, we had a comp- the best? Well, we had a competition of two different teams um, doing a shooting drill, and the team that won got to pick the punishment for the losing team. So the winning team said the punishment was that each person on the losing team had to demonstrate Coach Blair on the sideline. I have not watched the video. <laughs> now we didn't send all of it, failures. but there was some pretty good ones um, that we didn't get the video. Did anyone back it up? No, I was waiting for it. I was what? Like, Where is it that at? Like, please, I want to see that. Uh, no, no, not a person backed it up. Now, the other night, I I got almost about the half court circle calling one. I called one last night all the way across the floor. Well, it, it, we only had a two man crew, so I you had to go get their attention. You had to go grab the ball. Well, <laughs> now, hey, you, you might get you get lost in that gym, you know, because it's so massive and space. Is, there's a lot of space. That. Yeah, that there's you just have to basically, you know, just turn around and you can touch the wall when you're standing in the coach's box. Oh, yeah. And there's, no, I'm serious. That thing is like a Cracker Jack crap well, hole. I mean, in the, in, Awful. I'm not, we lost because we lost because of the way we played. But, uh, I mean, we had a 15 point lead. We had a 7 point lead at half. We just fell apart in the third quarter. They outscored us 28 15. Um, they had one kid that had 28 and another kid that had 26. That point guard's pretty gosh darn good. And then uh, that Beverly kid that's going to the team with baseball is pretty good. And it's time to get a Division One player on the floor. It doesn't matter. Yeah, those two, those two, those two uh, <laughs> put a hurting on us. They had 28 26. So there's about 54. I'm in my mask kind of shady, but that's 54. There's 65 that they had. And, uh, well, you know, yeah. my question, you know, I, I think you guys were what Fuller and, and Gabe didn't play much in the second quarter, did they? Uh, Fuller and Gabe didn't play much. I mean, Fuller ended up 17 and probably only played two quarters of the game. And he played for practice, so I didn't start him. And then uh, he got in the game, 
did well, went on a scoring spree, and then was in foul trouble. Uh, poor Lucas Barr probably had the greatest week of practice he's had all year. And every chance I got in that game, he got, he, I mean, one time he was out there literally six seconds and had a foul and come back. And uh, he almost fouled out. He had four. Fuller had four. Four. Uh, my point guard fouled out. I played the whole second quarter without the game on the floor. He had three fouls in the second by the second quarter. Dang, God. And we played almost the whole uh, quarter without the game on the floor. So, uh, but we were up. We were up over 15 at the end of the first quarter. And then we had to play a whole quarter without the game. And it ended up being a seven point game and a half. And then third quarter, like I said, they split 28 and we scored 15. And that was the story of the game. We fought back, got a, got ahead by one, and then didn't score in the last three minutes and nine seconds. Three minutes. So that's about like I know, that's why I said nine seconds. I think that was your game. Was, my game was three minutes, something before the game was four. I'll tell you. It was a, I mean, it was a physical game. And it's hard for two officials to do a varsity boys game, especially with two physical teams going up and down. And it wasn't the officials' fault. I'm not saying it was just, we lost the game because we didn't play well. Third quarter, and fourth quarter, or so. so. I, I mean, I don't know if it's just my team or not, but I've noticed that I've been watching a lot of basketball, and I've noticed that the, the scoring numbers across the board has been down this year. An average, from both boys and girls. I mean, I've watched some different, you know, and I just think that the scoring average is down compared to what it has been. For us, we're probably scoring more than we normally have. Uh, but we were holding teams to, I uh, believe, 51 or something a game, or 50. And, and our goal last night is if we keep them 50 or below, we're, we're going to win. And uh, the first half, it was 30 to 27, but then you know, they ended up with whatever it was. I think it was 65. Well, I was I was really happy with our defensive effort. I think it was yeah, the best. Yeah, forty-five, forty-two. Year, well, yours wasn't a high-scoring game either. Yeah, we just we just didn't capitalize. I mean, we had we had some really silly turnovers. Uh, a couple of times, the ball didn't bounce our way, <laughs> um, like literally. Oh, well, we yeah, like literally. Fuller had a ball. I'm not kidding. It smoked him in the face. Like it was a pass. Valley smokes it in the face. Right in the Heavily's head, scored. We had the ball poked out from one of our kids, hits heavily right in the face, and it falls right in his hands. Well, so, we, we, we had those the, kind of bounces. We, 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 we battle all the way back from being 13 down, yeah, tie the game, and get, get the rebound, outlet pass. Bounces right off of one of our kids' hands and into the hand. It hit him in the hand first, and, and then a one of their kids gets it, throws it to the, uh, what's that kid's name? It uh, killed us. Phipps, yeah. And uh, he's a good player. I, I, I'll tell you what, I, I'm like, I'm watching him on film. I've seen him in person before. I'm like, man, this guy's a bad. And Coach Eddie goes, yeah, he's the kid who killed us over there at that Herky tournament. It's, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Phipps. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's oh, yeah. Yeah. He has been the and it ain't one of those things where you're five eight and I stand out on the three point line. No, no. Oh, I see you. You're well, six six. Shooting, That's cool. He's shooting like 89, 90 percent from the free throw line. He's shot like forty of them. Yeah. So he's he, he he's goes the, the basket. Free throw line. He can drive the basket. Then yep. he can step up and shoot the three. And then they got Holland. Those two. I mean, this two had a monster with them. The post player's pretty decent. Big kid. I thought we did a good job with him. We just. Like I said, there's there was a point where we were in the third quarter we just like went cold. Cold. Yeah, you, had a bad, you had a bad third quarter too. Huh? Yeah, no free no free throws. Good. We've we've actually been pretty I thought we've been better this year on free throws. And like you know, we just no. No. We didn't do well on free throws. Well, I'll go off that. Do you think that free throw shooting free throws in practice like these like or you getting kind of tired? Do you think that's helping, or do you think that it's just? We were, I was talking to a guy that's been around the game in basketball for a long time you know, as his parent, as a spectator, and he says that he seems to think that uh, focus in kids after all this stuff they had to deal with in the last two years, the kids have lost a lot of focus on 
Ability is the focus? Yes, ability is the focus. And he said it's just across the board. He said, I've noticed it, and I'm the spectator. I don't have any kids in the school anymore. And he's like, I think it's a big time thing right now for our kids. Is they've just lost all of it. They oh, can't I, focus. How many times have you come out of a timeout? You just instructed the kids. Oh. That's, that's oh, my gosh. I know gosh. it's everywhere, but it seems worse. Like, it, you know, they'll go out and do exact opposite of what you just said. And you'll be like, I just told you what was coming. But hey, they're going to run the inbounds play where the inbounder is going to throw it to the guy. He's going to throw it to the other guy. That guy's going to come screen, and then the inbounder's going to pop out to the corner and shoot a three. Yep. All right, that, watch for that play. Boom, 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 boom. You know, there, there's definitely uh, an IP component or an athletic component in athletics that, that seems missing but that's not a that that's not an iq thing when i just told you it is right there it 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 it, it, it is because it's i could think it comes down to focus i'm giving you the knowledge i'm literally handing it to you and you're walking out there and you're going to do it the thing, let's go back let's, what? let's go back let's go back when we were our age we that, that's a different school. story that's a different world that's what i'm saying because if world is different. because because when your old man gives you instructions to do something he didn't do it you know what happens? You get your ass beat. Yeah, there you go. Nice or wait, for some people, it's like, well, you're gonna, you're gonna get grounded. I got grounded, all right. Here's a screwdriver. Go out there and pry rocks out of the field and go pick them up. That's what you get to do. And I'm gonna beat your ass. Do that. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> but, I, but I mean, you're talking about once again. I'm just one, you, man. That's, that's awesome. That's exactly what I do. Uh, <laughs> one isn't important enough. That's the thing. Is it important enough? And then two, it, it does. It goes back to if you go 22 hours in the day and there's no accountability. I'm sorry that two-hour basketball game and you have to think while you're running. It's just not happening. It's just not going to happen. And so, you look at, okay, no play, know what you want to do, okay, ready, break, and then well, it, it, it's focus. Well, I that think it's focus. I think it's a little bit of discipline that goes with it, too, because it, I, and you guys know this, it's like, okay, listen, you got to stop doing this. Every time you do this, it's not good, whether it's, you know, you're, you're not boxing out, or you're dribbling the ball too much. Don't put your hand on a hot stove. Yeah, and it's like, hey, don't do that. My favorite is you go and close out on a shooter, but you don't hear it. Like, you got here. Not up here, where, in the face, or where they're shooting. You just go like this. It's like, do you hope he makes it? I I think I asked him one time in practice, like, you guys, you guys point shaving or something? They all got looking like, oh, it was ridiculous. Like, What's that? What's that? No, that's I mean, I was, yeah, I was so frustrated. Actually, then you had the yeah, one, shade. No, but then you had the one or two that knew exactly what you were talking about. <laughs> Are you guys watching Blue Chips? I just don't, I mean, I, seeing it from a standpoint, I think, I think focus is, is drastically, I mean, I don't, I mean, you guys are in the classroom every day. Do you see a little bit of lack of focus in the classroom? <laughs> in the last two years compared to Two, uh, since COVID has been around. Well, even have you before seen, COVID. I don't know. What year did I start it's, teaching? It's not a, once again, it's a one-two. If you're talking to the classroom, you're talking to the athletics, all of it, all of it will always come back to it's the drive to a one-two. Because we, we said this, so I remember saying this in practice just last week. You have to be able, if the coach tells you to do ABC, do ABC. And if it doesn't work, then it's on the coach. And, it, and it's our fault. Yeah. But if we ask you to do ABC and you do the wrong thing, you do XYZ, because you want to do that, well, then we got to sit you. We can't play it. Because either, like you said, well, I don't know, I can't remember how you always talk about how you say it, but it's either you don't want to do it or you can't do it. And either way, it's not good. And I don't know. I, to me, it just, that's the end. It, it's just. I've, I've never seen, I think last year, seen what little drive or what little some kids see that, well, I just, I don't know. My tummy hurts, I'm not going to grab it. Or, I got a sore, my, my, my calf's a little sore, I need to say. That's the kind of stuff that I have seen grown in the last 
several years is, is that the willingness to actually uh, just think it has to come down to focus on I think it's focus and then I think it's um, the, the process of them you know trying to deal with all of the stuff that they have to deal with I think it's just they're you don't see as much fun with your kids. I don't think they're having as much fun. And I've been seeing that even in the fall sports when I was coaching. I mean, did you see it? Did you see the kids having as much an enjoyment in, in football this year than, well, than the years past? Getting a football season when we were losing? No, but we won, like, what, rattle off four there. And the spirits were pretty high then. Uh, I, I think kids are worried about a lot of things they shouldn't have to worry about at this age. Well, I, I mean, I know what you want to say. Go, what do I want to say? What, what do I want to say? Well, once again, if there's no incentive for losing, if there's no incentive for winning, then why do you, then why do you try, try hard? Well, yeah. and you know, because they don't they don't see the whole the whole picture. They don't. You're trying to tell these guys that like these. This is what's going to build. Your character. This is, you know, adversity reveals the true character of a man. Yes. And if you can't handle this and you take the path of least resistance all the time and, well, this is tough. Okay, I'm out. Well, how the hell are you going to do anything? Because life is, life is tough. I know we can say we're going to have to work and the government gives you money right now, but eventually that's not going to work. Okay. And you actually have to do something and life is tough and you have to make tough decisions and you have to do things that you don't want to do. It's not just mom, dad, do this for me. My butt needs wiped. No, you have to do stuff. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of butt wiping. There's a lot of butt wiping. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, Speaking of butt wiping, I guess Chris needs to go. So. Uh, oh, I wasn't. Yeah. Just, oh, <laughs> yes, I'm kidding. Uh, but I, I think that it, it, we have a lot of kids who just it, there is no incentive, and they would rather just say, "Well, I don't, I'd rather not do it and, and lose." Like I've said this from the start, from a lot, from just the last several years, kids. Unless they're that guy, it's hard to accept the role as a role player, the sixth man, the seventh man, the rebounder, not the scorer. You know, it's harder to find kids that are willing to do the dirty work. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't know that we're gonna see that come back. No, because it's it's a natural shit. To be honest, it's a we have to go back. We got everything always goes back to start. And it, it's what you put an emphasis on, right? So when you talk about Valley football, where does that start? Home. It starts in the crib. They're they're born and raised on Valley football. Okay. If you look at if you go back to the idea of just little basketball, where does that start? And in the community, is that's what's cultivated. And I just, we, we've said this over the last couple of years, and we've been doing this, that there's just a, a shift in priorities and what's important. And it's just not as important. And then, to think back on what you're saying, being that role guy, definitely, because it's all about me, 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 me. Because it's all about likes, it's all about shares, it's all about. 1,200 followers, where you get a pie and taste for this evening. Yes. Well, I, I really feel, I mean, sometimes I'll go into a locker room after a game, and I feel like some other kids would be happier if they scored 28 points than us winning the game. Yes. And yeah. that's hard as a coach. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, we were going to the championship game a while back, and I think I had kids frustrated. I'm like, I'm winning. I'm like, we were winning. <laughs> I, I, I pretty much, I mean, I, I kind of talk, talked to my guys the other day, and I said, look, you know, if, if you can't get on board with what we're doing and you're worried about you and your feelings and your stats or whatever, you know, just let me know now. We'll just go ahead and have a funeral. And the guy looked at me, and I said, because I'm going to bury your ass on the bench. <laughs> You're not gonna play. I've never told my kids that. Uh, but, uh, that's pretty. Hey, good. That's a yeah. unique approach. Pretty solid. I mean, I told him. I said, "We'll have a funeral. We'll say a little service." And the guy looked at me. I said, "Because I, we're, I'm going to bury your ass on the bench." Hundred percent. And I don't. I don't care. It's I, we're we're 
we got to fight that at right. some at some it's level here. It's, no, hold on, time out. Just the, the fact that we're laughing at that comment. That, that's probably when we played in high school. That's probably an everyday, if not ten times of practice type of set. Oh, well, that's fast nice. forward. To fa- yeah, fast nice. forward to twenty twenty one. We're laughing at. Yes. We're laughing at. Yes. Well, I'm laughing at. I I love it, yeah. but I'm never going to say it. But why is uh, that? <laughs> why not? Why? Why? Because it's because you're living in a different world. Than what you're I'm. I would yeah. say it if I was living in his world. The problem is, is I know the same reason why everybody, every coach in America now seems like they don't want to say that is because you're worried about offending or making someone upset or you're, you're hurting someone's feelings. You know what? That I mean, but that that's what it, that's what that's what it comes to on when when you do that because somebody's like, well, you shouldn't do that. You know what? Facts don't care about your feelings. The fact is, is we have to be able to play as a team. And that doesn't mean that everybody gets what they want. Okay? Everybody doesn't get what they want. Because then you are selfish. Selfish teams don't don't play well. No, and when when all teams all the focus on is me, 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 me. You don't see teams have success um, down the road. I mean they may have success you know, against the teams they should have success against, but teams that they should, you know, compete with and, and be a good game, they don't have success because they, they're more focused on me, 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 and not the team that's best for that. So I think that has a lot to do with it. And, you know, speaking of the role start side of it, I think, you know, the expectations of kids is if, if, if it's not about me, then I don't want to do it. I think that's the expectation side of it. Right? Think about it. Think about how, <coughs> think about how they've grown up. Okay. Now look, look at look at us with our kids that went down and selected baseball, right? So this happens, doesn't happen. Baseball can be basketball, can be, basketball can be, you know, curling, whatever. But it's well, I don't. That's I'm a sport not, in Canada. Yeah. Maybe if you knew. Uh, Where I, I don't know how to get there. My boat. I'm not, if a parent says, my child's not getting the playing time, and I'm paying this money, my kids are not getting the playing time, or the kids are not getting the stats, or the kids are not getting the And you, once again, that's the culture, that's the family dynamic that you've created. And so you do that since, you know, six, seven, eight years old, and then here you are in high school, and you've got to play with that, and you've got to do that, so then... Now, when you get in high school, you can't exactly just up and change rules and you know, what you want to do. So, yeah. what do you do? Right. You know, like, I'm very, uh, I'm very open with my kids after tryouts. I call in each kid. I tell them what I think their goal is going to be, and say, "Hey, I, you know, I look at you as a starter, or I may look at you as a six man, or I look at you as an eight man, or whatever." And I'm pretty blunt and honest of where I think their role is going to be. Now, the thing is, that role could change from the very first start of games to mid-season to the end. I mean, you may start you may start as a starter in the first game, and then four games from now, you're not performing, and a uh, sixth or seventh guy on the bench is performing every time they're getting in, so your role may change. Um, I'm kind of leading to a question that was asked and uh, I'm pretty direct with my kids about their role and most kids know their role. It's just whether they're going to accept that role or not. And, and I'll throw it out here just because I can and I'm a JV coach it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's not even about the grid. It's about the Because you all live in the world Kevin as an head coach you all live in the world where all you have to do is upset one person you may not even be the kid, it might be a man, it might be a kid. You guys are going to get crucified at the end of the day. Well, Jarvis doesn't know what he's talking about. You ought to be shooting threes. You ought to be doing that. Larry doesn't know it. No, you do this. You, you, you need to do this. Okay? Well, no, no, you know what that's that stuff? That's so old. It right? is. You need to be doing group of drive instead. Yeah. Right? So, Wait. you're that kid. You're that adolescent kid. Sure. And so who are you going to listen to? you got Mama, Mama Bear and Papa Bear over here who you got to live with. 
or you got coached that you see a couple hours a day? Well, I, I'll be honest with you. I My dad was very, I don't know if you all met my dad. Uh, he was very vocal about how much he didn't like some of the stuff that I had to do in high school. And he said, well, why don't you get the ball and drive more? And I said, well, my coach told me to like, see this, this line that arcs around. He said, unless it's you and Jesus standing at the goal, you don't take it in there. Because if you do, when the horn sounds, you're coming out. He's like, well, that's dumb. I said, well, you know what? He controls my playing time. Yeah. Okay, so I can listen to you, and I can piss off my coach, and I can sit on the bench. Or piss you off, which <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Dramatic, but it's just so on levels I can't Only describe. Wide, but right? I thought about this. It's like, I only get to play basketball for four years. So I'm gonna, there, I, there, there. I will piss my dad off. Now you get the four years. No win I absolutely no win situation. But, but, but there are lots of kids. In the there are a lot of there kids. Are lots of parents. I'm not saying your dad was one. Of he was. Oh yeah, he did. He did. Speaking of the role part, and I think that that what you got to look at is on a team, there may be a bunch of kids that have this similar role. or similar abilities. Yes. And, so, and people don't see all the other stuff that's going into that playing time like uh, this kid just got in trouble at school this kid's been late for three practices this kid missed a practice this kid didn't miss a practice uh, there's so many other things in the equation of playing time it's not yeah. just about matchups well and that's another thing matchup I had a whole, totally different starting lineup playing out for Valley anyway just because I didn't like a couple matchups I had then I had to make adjustments because kids were late to practice or didn't show up to practice or whatever. And so, and we don't go talk about that. We don't say, hey, this is why someone's not starting. They're just not starting. And I don't think that, I don't think when you, when you say, you talk about the kids, their roles, uh, some kids' roles may change as the season progresses. Because you have someone else that steps into another role that maybe they're not, you wasn't expecting. They they, they fit in another role. You know, they put the work in to, to move into a different role. And so sounds sounds familiar. Yeah, and I I think I mean as as far as a coach, I have my expectations at the very beginning of the year, but. He said, he said, yeah, you were on your phone. I said that whole exact thing you just said. But, but I go think, in, if you watch it, if you rewind it, go ahead and watch it. I, I'm, not, I'm like Jarvis. I probably will go home and watch it. But, <laughs> but, uh, that's but, true. But I think that the problem becomes is when you tell a kid what their role is, That's the, they get that tunnel vision side of it, and that's all they focus on. And I think if you so I don't necessarily say what the kid's role is for everything in here. I say, hey, I would like to see you do more of this or more of that or do this. But then at the same time, we may have a practice before a game and say, hey, tonight this is your role. This is what we'd like to see you have happen. Or you so, may have two or three of your best, better players get in foul trouble and their role changes. That changes. Also. Yeah. It changes everything. So that's what I'm it's saying. Like, last night things changed real quick. Yes. So I don't know that roles are so much needed to be talked about immediately. And I think... He always gets the music played. Um, I love it, so it's okay. But I think that's... Uh, and that, you know, Shelly, <laughs> I appreciate your question because I think that's an important thing for, for kids to hear and parents to hear is that that role is not consistent. It could change um, depending on who's on the floor, who you're playing, who, you know... I mean, you never know the expectations. I mean, the amount of work that you put in to get better. Yes. On your own time. I mean, outside. Some, kid, of, some kids stay after practice when you offer it and say, "Hey, we're gonna. I'll be here another hour if you want to shoot, or another half hour. I'll be there half hour early. Heaven forbid on their own. Well, that, you talk about things changing. That that's something else. Good stuff. But we'll we'll take a break. You know, we we're talking about role players. We'll actually t- when we come back talk about another thing I'm ready involved in a, in, a, in a game. Jarvis has to go to the bathroom here. But another thing that affects game that I want to get you guys. To Bye, Grandpa, about. Dad. Bye. Hey, take care. Hey, you guys, take care too. We'll be right back. We're watching the coaches box. We'll try to get the mics ready to go for the second session here. I don't know. Whether it's residential or commercial, Home by SMCI has the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, and even help with dust in your house. They install easily in less than 45 minutes, and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. 
If you're interested in any of the products they offer, give Home by SMCI a call today at 636-337-4444 or email them at service at homebysmci.com. Unplug it out of that I've box. changed it to a condenser mic to see if that changes it instead of a dynamic mic. So, Are you worried about planning for your financial future? Turn to the expert with 29 years of experience and but give Brian sure, Waits hey, a call this. today. Like, Brian okay, Waits at Waits Financial Services like specializes in investments, like this, life insurance, have, retirement like plans, away, tax planning, and even 401k rollovers. For more information, or if you just want to get a quote, call Brian at 314-374-6713 or email him at bwaits at woodburyfinancial.net. Not really, but there's literally, like, hey, Winkler says he can hear us during the commercials. That's what it's saying, too. You're muted. Tim, can you hear us now? That's what everybody's saying. Are you looking to buy or sell a home? If so, contact Stacy Miller at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Stacy works with first-time home buyers and even savvy sellers. She also specializes in working with investors, lenders, and title companies. Stacy will be there every step of the way. Contact her today at 314-606-1007 or visit stacyzmiller.com. says he can hear us. So no time to eat in? No problem. Don't feel like cooking? We'll do it for you. Need wings for your party? TJ's Bar and Grill has got you covered. TJ's is a local mom and pop establishment in Peavely, Missouri, known for their own homemade pizza sauce, barbecue sauce, and their famous TJ's wing sauce. Open seven days a week, they are family friendly, biker friendly, and locally owned. Come by or order by phone with your credit card at 636-475-3648. TJ's Bar and Grill. We're glad you stopped by. seller, Kelly Kaufman has the tools to deliver the best client experience in the industry. Give Kelly a call today at 314-221-6090 and let her move you today. Stacy will be there every step of the way. Contact her today at 314-606-1007 or visit stacyzmiller.com.
commercial, Home by SMCI has the right products for you. Home Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, and even help with dust in your house. They install easily in less than 45 minutes, and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products they offer, you can give Home by SMCI a call today at 636 337 4444 or email them at service at homebysmci.com. There we go. There we, go. we are. We are right, back we here. Are it's the back. Christmas episode, the holiday special episode here for the coach's box. We are down a guy right now, and that's okay. We'll we'll fill oh, we we'll we'll a roll, right? Hey, when it, yeah, F- fill a know. roll. There we go. <laughs> hey, whenever you have, whenever you, when you have family coming in and people yeah. come in, it's, yeah. it, it, people haven't seen you in a while, they want yeah. to talk. And well, it's definitely. okay. It's part of it. We exactly. Don't do that. Exactly. So, hey, hey, by the way, guess who I'm getting the phone call from? Family. family. <laughs> hey, it does not fail. It doesn't fail. He doesn't watch the show. Tis the me. season, Trust right? He doesn't watch the show. No, <laughs> Tis the season. Care. So we, we were talking about role players. We were talking about accepting the, accepting your role as a player. Now, for the game, I'm going to give you this. I, I heard this today, and I figured, why don't we talk about it? I don't think we've talked about this in a while. And maybe discuss a sport by sport or to get a coach's perspective on. So I'm going to ask you guys as head coaches, and Kevin, till till Jarvis decides to come back here, you can fill in as a head coach as well. So talk to me. Give me your opinions. Opinions on this word, momentum, in sports. Is it a real thing, or is it just something that's just completely made up? Because people are going to say momentum. That's a science term. That's a key term in science class. It has no real intrinsic value to that's a real life word. sports. That's a big Don't word. ask me to spell it. But anyway, momentum, a real thing, go. Yes, no? Do you agree, disagree? Well, I think momentum has a lot to do with the multiple things. And I think momentum also has a lot to do with the um, the fans and the stands has a lot to do with momentum because I think if the louder if you're at home Mm -hmm. um, and the louder the crowd the louder student section I think that plays in a big role into it Um, I also think that when when you know you go with multiple possessions of doing things well and and you're scoring and you're getting stops and, and I think that momentum also carries out because it plays a huge role in you know the demeanor of the other team that the other team is you know frustrated aggravated um they they you know made got the ball stolen or turned it over four or five times in a row now all of a sudden they have all the momentum and i think when you get into that place i think it plays a huge role in the psyche of kids too because i i you know you see it when you see when kids struggle and they you know they turn the ball over four or five times all of a sudden their heads go down you know and they get frustrated they get aggravated and they start doing some things that typically they probably wouldn't do but they're aggravated because the momentum is not on their side they're not you know not being able to to do what they typically do so i think that i think it has a huge role well yeah momentum is big i mean it, it, kids kids ride the waves of emotions and, and that's the thing and um you know it, it doesn't matter if it's kids really or college or the nba and the nba you, you there's momentum there's you know, teams go on runs. Yes. And when a team's hot, they're hot. Everything's good. That's why you have all those timeouts. You keep a timeout, burn a timeout, because you're just trying to stop momentum. 
and it's it's a real thing. So, uh, you know, I, I try to tell our kids like, it, don't ride the emotional roller coaster. Try to stay try to stay focused and try to stay level because, yeah, you're gonna play well, and then there's times you're not gonna play well. It's being able to stay stay even keel all the way through that. Yeah, you can be excited, but then just know that for every high that there's gonna be a low. There's gonna be a time where they're playing well and things are things are going well for them. Yeah. What do you think, Kevin? What do you think? Well, we use the, I, I, similar to what Chris said, I want them to ride the highs, especially uh-huh. in baseball and softball. Uh, people are hitting in front of you. Um, it's going to be really easy to keep hitting behind them. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got better body language. Everybody's got a better attitude about it. They're talking to each other about what they're seeing and, and those types of things. So in that instance, yeah, I, I want them to keep riding the highs. It's just i got to tell them to stop. Don't ride the I, I think I think it's okay to get excited. It's okay to, to, to hit the highs. I think you got to be very careful on how psyched you get because oh, yeah. there is a there is there's a toll that comes with that. Whether it's the other team sees that, and if they're mentally tough, they're going to be like, "All right, that that's fine." Sure. And then the other part of it is it's physically you get way too hyped up and you know, all of a sudden it's like you just zapped your juice. I mean, that's that's it. Uh, so you, I, I think you got to be very careful on how. I, I think it differs from sport to sport. I think in, in baseball and softball, it's a one-on-one. It's, for the most part, you know, especially in softball, it's, yeah, the other team might be mentally tough, but it's just the pitcher versus mm-hmm. the hitter. If you're yeah. better than the pitcher... You know, that type of thing. The shortstop can be all tough about everything they want, but the ball's never hit to them. It doesn't mean yep. a hill of beans to it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, unlike uh, basketball. And softball, if you got that stud pitcher, you're... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, I, I've, I've been in that situation. Yeah. I, I've ridden that stud pitcher a couple of times. Absolutely. And yeah. had to face them Coach Rhodes face, so. is wondering when I'm going to get my pie in the face, and I was it, I was trying to skip out of here. Uh, <laughs> but we were hoping it's Coach Rhodes right? was coming in here was yeah. going to bring Matt Carpenter in to do it or something. <laughs> What about what about from the football Great. perspective? So, we were talking about it, and, and the topic, the the discussion is: is momentum a real thing or is it made up? And so it's not made up. Okay, so tell us maybe from the football side of things about momentum. Ooh, from the from the football side. Now, are we talking just in a game or in a season? General. I mean, what in, are we in a game? You know, we're talking about we're we're talking about in a, in a game situation. Uh, is, is it is it real? Does it exist? I mean, there's no stat that says, oh, well, this team gets this much of momentum, but if it's not tangible, is it real? And everybody is saying it's real. Oh, it's real. I mean, you know, team turns it over, and what's a lot of teams' next move? They, they go for it. They go for the jugular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you score right after that turnover, I mean, in like two plays that you score, that momentum is felt with not only your team, their team. But that momentum can change so gosh darn quickly. Yes. Because you got to kick the ball off. Mm-hmm. And then they return it for a touchdown. And then there went that momentum, and your team mm-hmm. went from whoop to. And so it's, uh, I mean, you know, in basketball, kids start hitting threes or start hitting shots. It, mm-hmm. it, it sometimes it, that momentum carries on and it gets contagious. Then mm-hmm. next thing you know, everyone on your team's got two or three. Mm-hmm. And you're like, whew. All right. But, I mean, there's momentum. Uh, uh, to me, and like I said, hearing this and, and kind of reading different articles on it just to see how how they were discussing momentum, to me, I think you take that word out and you put in the word confidence. You know, you, you said the psyche of the kid. I think it's the confidence that either the individual has or that team has and that's why you've got to, if you're on the other side, you got to call the timeout to slow that confidence down because it is. I mean, all of a sudden there's a big play, whether it's football. Well, you're you're feeling confident now that I can go out and I can I can block that guy. And I I thought about that after the game last night. I didn't use the timeout the whole first half. Now we ended up the half we were up seven. Mm-hmm. Now second half I had to start using them. I mean uh, they start. Getting chipping in the lead, call the timeout. Try to slow that momentum down. There's a couple things happen again. I had to get another timeout. Uh, yeah, you, you got to use those. I, I don't know that I, I, as a coach, has done a good job with timeouts. 
that's one thing I need to work on as a coach is using them at the right times and when I need to use them. And I like to have them in that second like half. To, like to save, yeah. But and I also think, you but know, then I burn them too in the first quarter before, you know. So I don't know. When you're talking about winning and losing, um, I think momentum has even more of a of a uh, emphasis because you know when you're winning games in a row consistent mm-hmm. let's say you win four or five in a row i think the kids build off of that mm-hmm. and they build a momentum about themselves about the way they're playing as a team the way they're doing things mm-hmm. i think that's a part of momentum that a lot of people don't even look at mm-hmm. but i think when you get that winning mentality in the kids mm-hmm. that is a huge momentum because some kids just don't know how to win, and it takes them, uh, you know, some opportunities, and, and so you lose a lot of close games. And I think once they finally hit that game where they win a close game, mm-hmm. and then they win a couple in a row, I think it changes the momentum of those kids. It mm-hmm. changes the psyche of those kids, and I think you see the highlights, the high points of of those kids because, man. They're excited. I mean, it, it changes their whole demeanor when you win compared to when you lose. And I think that's a that's a big part of momentum is winning. If you're winning consistently, mm-hmm. huge. Well, but what? the other part of it, I, I I'll be devil's advocate here. I mean, again, I like I don't mind getting excited. I like the, I like kids doing that, and you should. But I also think when we're talking about winning and losing, you if if you're winning and you're feeling good about it. The other, the other problem is, is you can have an overconfidence to yourself, sure where you you've won a few games, and now you feel like, oh well, we we we're this, we're this. Well, we're you this. get a little, you get a little too big for your britches, as mm-hmm. as my grandpa used be, to say. I'll be honest, I, I think that's something that's happened probably more in in recent years with right. with any of my teams. I mean, there's been times where I haven't won any <laughs> any games, but when they feel like, oh well, this is where we're at, and it's all of a sudden here here comes. Here comes reality and just smacks Smash you in the, the face, face like you, Rick James. It's like a pie. Yeah, like, like, a, pie. like a pie. Oh, right, that, right that, in the that, face. Is that coming up here in a minute? <laughs> he's on his phone. He's on his phone right now. He's yeah. Hey, he's on a serious. Well, face. but you you get into you get into once again, and kids are kids, but you get into complacency. You get into cockiness, you get into complacency, and then what you've been preaching as a coach, the idea of you got to do these little things, you got to do these little habits, all of a sudden, nah, we're, we're good. We're, we're good enough to overcome. Yeah. Overcome. I don't have to box my guy out this first quarter. Right. You know, no, I can miss that. I can miss that chip that chip put back in the second quarter I can do this in the third quarter next thing you know here it is fourth quarter and you're down or you lose by one or two mm-hmm. and you add up all those all those things that you normally did but because you were feeling yourself you're like hey ah, we don't need to we don't need to do that but I, we, I, I, yeah I think that's I, I think that's the danger mm-hmm. we Absolutely. talked about that today um, we've lost our last two games by a total of two points in two games we lost both of them by one and you know, I, I look at this whole big picture of it and I say, you know, we told our kids today, you think one thing, one mistake away, one mistake away that you made and you win. Well, just one mistake. So it's not like it's, you know, take a, let's say we made 30 turnovers. Mm-hmm. You take one turnover away, you, you win the basketball game. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so I think you, you take into that consideration that we were telling the kids that today, like, that's how important every, every possession, possession is. Yep, matters. And, yeah. you know, if, if kids can take that momentum mm-hmm. of that one possession that maybe they turned it over and build off of that mm-hmm. to understand and not do it again the next time, that one possession matters. That one possession makes a big well, difference. Well, you have to value the ball. Oh, you have to right. value the ball. Um, they, they, you got there and they're throwing the thing around like it's 2K and it's okay because you just hit reset <laughs> and go back. No, you right. can't do that. Okay, mm-hmm. you got take care of the freaking ball. Mm-hmm. It's nonchalant passes, just like oh, okay. Well, you know, we're just gonna underhand toss it or mm-hmm. whatever. I'm gonna throw it at his feet. What? Make it. Make it. I don't know how many pass. times I tell kids shots are made because of the pass. I don't oh. know how many times I'm telling the kids in practice. And we're after a game, you know, 
Hey, so-and-so would have got a better shot off if you would have hit him in the chest with that pass, but you got lazy, wanted to flip it, or wanted to do this, or wanted to behind the back, or do something stupid, instead of just making the easy pass mm -hmm. to his chest so he can catch and shoot. Boring's okay. Boring wins. I mean, bo boring's all right. Now, but let me, let me flip it on you guys as coaches because I'm sure we've all been there. Uh, I want to, before you okay, go, go ahead. Ahead. Coach Rhodes says, you know, teams control the momentum. It is very contagious. Momentum is confidence, and losing is more contagious than winning. So, sure so which goes into, thank you, Coach Rhodes, That's which goes into perfect. what I wanted to ask you guys. What about being on the other end about momentum? Meaning in now – the other team is getting hot and playing with confidence. And as a coach, you're looking at your players, and you just said you brought up timeouts, whether it could be football, it could be, could be uh, basketball, it could be going out to talk to your pitchers, settle, settle everybody down. Mm -hmm. What do you do as coach, and what's your thought process dealing with the opposite side of, you know, momentum? It's hard. Like last night at the end of the third quarter, they put a good run on us. And they ended that quarter with a bank three with us contesting the kid right in his face. And the buzzer goes off right afterwards. And it's hard to get your players to forget about that moment that just happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, hey, we always have a team bank of three against us. So let's just shake it off. It's over. Mm -hmm. Let's next play. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to try to next play. Mm -hmm. And it's hard sometimes. That momentum just goes the other way. Mm -hmm. And you just feel like everything, every call. Every play is just not going your way, and I think Coach Rhodes is right. Then when you're a team that hasn't won a lot, then that thought gets in your head of, here we go again, here we go again. What, tell me why, from your perspective as coaches, why do does it look like that the kids all of a sudden start to pucker up a little bit on the other end of the momentum? Where they're like, hey, you know what? Oh my gosh, they they went on this 6-0 run, this 7-0 run, and the things that we were doing that was working the entire first three quarters. Now we're just going to mentally just be frazzled. Yep. What? I, I I also look at that concept of, you know, okay, so, you know, I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and say like, we've lost three in a row. And, you know, so, hey, so well, four in a row now. Sorry, four in a row. We saw our bus Monday day. So four in a row. We and, lost three. Yeah. And I can tell you that, you know, our kids are frustrated right now. Our kids are frustrated. Yes, they are. are. Not only are our kids frustrated um, with themselves, but they're frustrated with each other. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk about that, you know, that that opposite side of momentum, I, you know, uh, I, I think that as a coach, when you're on that opposite side and you're losing – um, you know, you've got to change. You've really got to change the culture uh, of those kids uh, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. and I think that has to. That has a lot of impact. Um, I think more of a the side of practices have a lot more impact than than the actual game mm. changing and momentum in the game, mm. because I think if you are always going back after losing and you're harping on all the mistakes and all the negative stuff mm -hmm. that you saw I don't I think that's all their mind goes to is mm -hmm. negative 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 and mm -hmm. then that's what's they're con it just focusing it on you know snowballs is what yeah. you're saying so and oh, I think that has a hot you know and I wrote said it best on here he said players don't understand that a missed layup on the first play of the game cost you a game but people always look to the last minute of mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, like last night, I'm harping about the last part of the game, mm -hmm. and we missed some shots early on that mm -hmm. that last part of the game would have been different mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. we would have executed and stuff early on. Well, and I mean, Coach Winkler even said it, I commented on Coach Rhodes' that comment. I always call that thinking as our what have you done for me lately society. You're exactly yeah. right. What have you done for me lately, society? That that that's exactly what we are in, and mm -hmm. I think the biggest struggle becomes is, you know, in kids, psych, in their minds, you know, that focus side of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, all they're focused on is what happened, just what just happened. Right, friend. Kids face. are more worried about the mistakes they made instead of trying to just forget and do better. Yes, and and that's it, when the pucker factor shows is what you gotta have a short term memory. What what you're. Buddy said. Uh, well, I, 
and I go back to you guys tell me because I know this and obviously it's has been an issue with me as a coach but you get a 10 12 point lead and the kids want to go and this is the second half and they just want to keep going and going and going and going guys we got a double digit lead why do you want to turn this into a track meet late and give the other team more possessions and more shots. Does think. that happen with you guys? Uh, let me think. Uh, we played South Iron. And, <laughs> um, that's exactly what happened. It's like, you Just, know what? Your game plan coach about playing slow is dumb. Here, let's let's do this. We can we can <laughs> run with them. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I, that's it, Stupid. Just relax. Don't do that. I, I Slow don't, down. Now, I, no, I want to go fast. I want to go fast. Go fast. I go fast. Go Coach, fast. <laughs> Coach Rhodes has the devil's advocate view of that. I've watched a team go into a delay game too soon and lose all the momentum. Huh? Whose fault? I, I went and did a game in Rolla one time, and I, <laughs> oh, and no. I, I don't know. I thought oh, that was intense. What are you talking about? And I, I thought I maybe a coach made that mistake, Coach Rhodes. I don't know. Could you could you fill me in on who that may have been? <laughs> I don't think he was watching that game, Jason. Um, no, <laughs> oh, he was watching us. We were watching <laughs> the game. He was watching us. <laughs> and, uh, and I, I even I, said on air, I said. I don't know. This might be too early. <laughs> I, I go back and man. I bet that opened up a wound. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I mean, it may be cold blooded a little bit. Cold blooded. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Turn around. Might, turn around. Might. You have that knife still sticking, sticking in back uh, there. You, <laughs> might have to, you might get to put I'm that pie in his face. <laughs> Just for that comment alone. <laughs> I, I would go back and say that if I did that again. I would still try to run clock. I would necessarily would not necessarily go into that much of a prevent. Game. You wouldn't do a prevent defense. No, no. <laughs> not not a no. I I I would have I would have ran our offense until we got layups. And nah, I agree with Teddy. Maybe if he had better assistance coaches telling him That's for damn to true. not do that, that would have been would have been an issue. Oh, I was watching the game. <laughs> you know, watch this, watching the game. No. No, no, no. And that was it was all my decision. Oh. It was all my decision. <laughs> but you know, you know, and I I I, I, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help. It. I always tell my kids. <laughs> Maybe we have some chicken wings this year. <laughs> uh, I'll eat them either way. Either way. I tell my kids all the time. Let's I'm going to lose. <laughs> I'm going to lose you a game at some point this season, if not more than one, because you know, as coaches. We, we, we do overlook stuff, and we look too much into stuff, um, you know. And I think our kids feed off of that too, you know. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer that our kids feed off of what we are, how we're acting, how we're reacting, what we're saying, what we're doing. I think definitely on the girl side for sure. Oh yeah. So you know, a lot of people always ask me, my like, why am I so high energy on the sidelines? I think if I've asked. All the kids I've coached over the last 12 years, do you think that helped you play with high energy, um, intensity? Um, and I can guarantee you that probably 99.9% .9 of them say yes. Well, now, go ahead. Is, is that my mentality? Probably not. That's not the reason why I'm doing that. I'm just a high energy kind of person. But, but I think that the kids fed off of that, and it changed the perspective of my kids on how they should play. Um, while they're on the floor. And, you know, right or wrong, I don't know. I maybe have lost some games because I've been too involved in my energy and not involved in what's actually happening. And I missed out on some chances to maybe call a timeout, maybe too late or too early, or maybe, you know, pulling the ball out too early, like late. I mean, you, you never, you just, you know, those all those perspectives. Uh, hey, when in doubt, you pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Call the wrong play whenever. I mean, into the game. <laughs> I heard him. I know. Our basketball coach used to tell us that all the time. He's Gosh. like, guys, hey, you're attacking the basket, but when you're in doubt, you pull out. And we're all kind of like. Well, and uh, I think that's, that? you know, that's the. I thought this was a family show. Kevin, if you know. <laughs> Jeez Louise. That's a momentum thing. Right. That's a momentum thing. Oh, that's the momentum thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, Jason. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Oh my goodness. Oh. So anyway, we have some holiday questions. Mama Dick Bates goes to say, son, you're off. Get oh, off. Oh, we're gonna have a, hey, we're up to that guy and you got a good interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to we need to find another another. You want Michael today. Jackson right now for Blair. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, my dark, yeah. oh my goodness oh, gracious. Oh, 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 oh man. I had, I, had a, I had a question, but nope. I had a real <laughs> <someone laughs> say too. I don't even know. Oh, I have a hard man. problem answering any questions from a guy with all this duke crap on. Oh, that's I, good. First, I looked over that's good. and I thought Brian Waits was sitting Let's next to me. Go, <laughs> all this duke oh, stuff. Oh, gosh. Hey, it's huh? better in Kentucky, though, so that's fine. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, well, I, I, I had some. I'm a Mizzou I, fan right now. Oh my God! Hey, so are they still winning on, on the bowl? No, they're losing on the foot. Oh, uh, Army's up twenty-one sixteen. Dang. What's the basketball score? Bragging uh, rights. A lot too little, probably. Bragging rights. We suck. Coach Rhodes says, "Let's put a put a pie in Jarvis's face and call tonight." <laughs> <laughs> Why is it past your bedtime? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like, man, they're keeping me up too late. Uh, uh, All right, uh, so hey, holiday, we'll we'll do this, and then we'll we'll take a break here. Nine forty-five. We gotta we gotta get this so show done. So speaking of <laughs> speaking of pie, pie. so let, let's let's talk about the grandpa dad here. Speaking, you know? <laughs> okay, what's your favorite? What's your favorite holiday dessert? No pecan. Go pecan Go. pie. Pecan. Yeah, pecan pie is pretty darn good. Chest pie. Huh? Chess pie. Chest? Chess. Chess? <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking of the Key and Peel skit. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Chess. Like checkmate? Chess, yes. Okay. Uh, I have never heard of chess pie. Look it up. Is that some little Illinois? Illinois, 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 Illinois it's a southern <laughs> thing. No, it's a southern thing. I'm southern. southern. I'm southern. 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 I'm southern. I'm southern. 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 No. Uh, I ain't never heard uh, of that. Coach no. Buddy said Mizzou's losing by 30. Uh, okay. Ooh. Well, oh, you know. so it's closer than I thought. So, H- holiday dessert? Pumpkin pie. Elbow pie? Yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Chess pie. This is the weirdest guy. It's good stuff. Illinois yeah. people. I'll make weird. It. How about this? How about weird. this? Weird. Not next week since we're probably not going to have we'll, a snow we'll, next we week. We'll, we'll, the no, following we'll, week. We're not going to have a snow? Show. Oh. Show. The Why following not? week. We're all going to be doing he's, stuff. He's, oh. he's going to be out of town. Yeah. yeah. The following week, I will make a chess pie and have it on, on the show. You, and you guys can try it. Or I will make pie it. Pie. I will make it. <laughs> You're going to make a chess Kevin, go ahead. ahead. Favorite? Are are ribs a dessert? Uh, (laughs) Can be. They are now. They are now. They are now. Candy candy, candy, candy ribs. Oh my god. Okay, what is in a chess pie? Well, there's a lot of things, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I don't want to tell you what is in it. Oh, my God. Is it like that episode of Friends? I don't want to tell you. They together, and they, it had like, it was supposed to be some kind of. I mean, I've never heard of it. Hold on. Anybody. All of good. Anybody. <laughs> good. Somebody <laughs> comment <laughs> on this. If they've ever heard of this before. Oh, his hey, mom, player. of course. Okay, okay. Well, anybody. I guarantee she does. Yeah, see, right there. Oh, oh, my right. goodness see? gracious. The I'm recipe gonna go. calls for butter, <laughs> sugar, and <laughs> eggs. Said Coach Rhodes. Butter, <laughs> sugar, and eggs. <laughs> he said chest pie and pull out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it on air, oh, so I was going to let you guys do oh, it. Oh, my gosh. What God. in the Lee. world is chest pie? You just said butter. I have not said anything. Sugar and eggs. I have not said anything. Butter, sugar, and eggs? Butter, sugar, and eggs. Well, that's and, and with a little bit of vanilla. And? A little bit of vanilla. <laughs> you guys try it and you tell me you this, don't like it. Uh, this is good. Hey, hey Jason, you can't, it. you can't do Butter it. Buttermilk pie? Is this going to be a heart attack? Pump it up. It'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, oh, smart enough to have near kill him. <laughs> this is turning into that episode where we start talking about uh, sacking the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. Well, you open the you open the worms there, buddy. Oh, oh my Good goodness! God. Okay. All right. Try to get this I back on track. Never heard of a chest no, pie. No, no. Best holiday movie. Oh, we'll we'll go quick. Hold on, he'll be last. 
That's how they do It's like we all plan to make fun of Blair tonight. <laughs> That's good stuff. I love it. What do you think, Kevin? Uh, Best That's holiday. what happens when you turn 40. <laughs> it's Miracle on 34th Street. Okay. Or Die Hard. Die Hard. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. Oh, four Christmases. Four Christmases? Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Home Alone. I, that, I was uh, going to say Home Alone. I like Home Alone, Home Alone. before Christmas. Now, Vaughn, I'm going to tell you another one. Christmas now, vacation. I'll tell you another one. Wait. That's what I said. Christmas Vacation is great. Now, Christmas Vacation. I'll tell you another one. Scrooged. Scrooged. Scrooged is good. I like yeah. Scrooged. Scrooged is good. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. That's yeah, a good one. But I Home Alone. Okay. Your go-to for no, 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 Home Alone. My, my, I'm telling you, I'm Christmas going vacation. right back with Christmas Vacation, then Home Alone. Yeah. Debbie does just <laughs> no. That's what's oh so my god! Go to bed. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Everybody gets quiet. Favorite holiday. Favorite holiday. Mine? Holiday <laughs> tradition. Whether it's being, whether it's oh, growing up, oh, whether it's growing up, being a kid, or now, family. Christmas basketball tournament just for you, McVay. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, I'm that's... with Jason right there. What do you think? Holiday tradition. Ah, uh, you know, holiday tradition. I don't. <sighs> well, first off, what we did was we went out and we went out into the big old field in Illinois with my scatter gun because I couldn't couldn't use a rifle to shoot anything. <laughs> Because the czar said we couldn't. <laughs> and after, I, <laughs> and the and after I killed that animal, it was very small. Brought it back, we put it in the kettle and cooked it and had chest pie. <laughs> 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 and we had to give half of it to the government when they came by to get it. <laughs> I, mean, I grew oh, up in the basketball right. world, so I could say that probably... You know, that is definitely a Christmas oh, tradition is the goodness. holiday tournament side. Hey, holiday tournament. How about you, Zach? Uh, I'd say, you know, we would go, we have it the last couple years, but we would go up to Lottawater Creek, um, and then we would go over, we would see the lights, we'd go up to uh, what Our Lady of the Snows and, and go through and see all the different lights up there. That was, if you haven't been up to Lottawater Creek, man, that's, have you been up there? I've never ate there. Oh my goodness! It's Everyone great. says it's great. It's great, but I'm like, yeah. I had to DoorDash today. I mean, <laughs> I, got a ba- I got a baby at home. I'm working ten jobs. I ain't got time. For how about it. how about you, Kevin? Uh, I bowl games for me. I kn- I didn't grow up in basketball, so but uh, mm-hmm. I'd like to spend that Christmas break watching bowl games, watching college football. Yeah, there was a lot of college we, football we watched at my house. We do a lot of then. little things, uh, but our Christmas ends early. My kids' birthdays are both in early January, and we don't want them to uh-huh. bleed into Christmas. So oh. the, the day after Christmas, Sunday morning, we take down all Christmas decorations and put them away. Well, heck, I wow. just put mine just up so like those... four days ago or something. <laughs> eight days so ago. Yeah, it's time for that. Is this morning? No, at the day after Christmas. Oh, Dusty. Open after your Christmas, presents and start after. taking the tree. <laughs> all right, start <laughs> taking the ornaments <laughs> off that damn tree. Yeah, I mean, mine don't go up till after Thanksgiving. That's a question. When do your Christmas decorations Oh, it have to be after Thanksgiving. These people go up. up oh, yeah. Yeah, my, well, last year, because we were all okay, closed Walmart. down, we were all stuck at, we were all, I went in to go get stuff today. They already got Valentine's Day stuff up at oh, Walmart. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Are you kidding me? They got Halloween candy out yet? Yeah. No, they got leftover. It's still out. It's a dollar. <laughs> I gotta say, yeah, expiration date it's on it. It's a clearance aisle. It's it's all candy. Oh candy. my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is? What would you say? What is one of your best Christmas gifts that you got when you were a kid? I tell you, my mine was, and I, and I said this when Red I was Rider, young. BB hey, uh, no, yeah, my uh, about eye fifth grade, fifth, fourth, fifth grade, my uh, first baseman's mitt. That oh, was that go. was one. Mine was my mongoose bicycle. I got several bicycles out in Hematite. It's kind of rough. You go through some bikes. <laughs> yeah, um, but, uh, <laughs> but one of my favorites was because it got stolen or what? I don't oh, know. No, because we were it's just it was rough terrain. I did a lot of crazy crap on my bike. <laughs> uh, probably why I got scars all over my legs. But anyway, oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I, I would not want to. I would not want my brain tested. There's CTE in that thing. There ain't no doubt. But. Uh, I got this electric train one time I really wanted, and I talk about this in American history class all the time when we talk about Marshall Fields 
and uh, we talk about Sears catalog. Mm. I can remember on Thanksgiving, one of the best things of my Thanksgiving was to go to Grandma's and highlight all the crap in that Sears or J.C. Penny catalog that I wanted for Christmas. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was a Thanksgiving thing, and then you just okay, what am I getting? Grandma was good about buying stuff. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, yep, Grandma. It, it, it's funny you say that because that leads into mine. So when the when the Super Nintendo came out, oh, okay. oh yeah. I wanted that thing so bad, and my parents didn't want me to get it. Okay, so what they were like, no, no, you don't need that. You don't need that. Well, what happened was, is they they got it, didn't tell me, played off like I wasn't going to get it. Well, I was I was at the age where I'm looking for my Christmas gifts, and I found them, and I found that thing. Oh, and I guess I had, I guess I had given it away that I had found the gifts at some point because when they figured it out they took it back <laughs> oh. I'm not kidding and then I got it my taught you. and I got my grandma because I was balling okay because I don't know what you know kindergarten whatever it was or some. I got my grandma to go buy one. Oh my god! <laughs> she was so upset that they took it. It is so awesome. I could see his dad uh-huh. take that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it went too. Your dad, I did. I did want to show my age. I got a. I, my first TV that I got was a big one too. It was black and white. What's wrong with that? I had a black and white TV. It was black and white. Kids <laughs> They had black and white. Something's wrong with TV. No, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. <laughs> what? So right. Turn the antennas. Ta-da. You're looking at one of the first remotes. I guess that's so. what I would tell my kids all the time yeah. at school. I mm-hmm. was one of the first remotes. Mm-hmm. Right. Turn Definitely channel. think. Um, yeah. Well, TV was one. I got my first TV, but I got one of those ones with the cassette with the VHS. Oh, oh yeah. That was one. But I'm gonna go with along the lines of Chris. I got a Sega Genesis. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. There you go. Yeah, best Crash, Sega game. Crash See, Bandicoot. well, with Crash Bandicoot, but it wasn't the best game. I'm, I can the, the Madden ver. They had Madden on mm-hmm. Sega Genesis nope. or a version of it at some point. It's but. still not the best Sega game. Man, I got gifts just rolling in my head now. I, I probably know, but it's it literally it's been. Can you imagine thirty the, years since I, I? I would say that the best Sega game is like NHL '94. Any of you, you ever got a boom it's box? A, it's more really? yeah. 2000. Zach would never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sega. So you said NHL. As a, as an adult, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I had a Sega. Listen to all of our, listen uh-huh. to all of our favorite gifts. Can you imagine yeah. if we asked our kids, like our basketball players, what their favorite gifts? Mm-hmm. Were? iPhone 13. Growing up, what, <laughs> you, what is your ultimate favorite uh-huh. Christmas it's gift? It's going to be a phone. Got? I mean, I guarantee you're probably right. Or an iPad or, or something like that. Or maybe a gaming system or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. crazy I crazy, can't crazy. stand it. Do you know how little I played video games? I mean, we had an Atari. We had some video games. Never. But I, dude, I was outside from time. I was outside sun, a lot. Sun until it was down. Yeah. I, I reserve any if my my veg out time at this point in my life. I will play some video games. I'll play a sports game. I'll do yeah. something. That's I don't want to think about anything else. This is what I'm doing. I gotta calm down, and that's how I do it. <laughs> but back when I was in school, hell, there was times where I might not ever look at that <laughs> Nintendo or whatever. I'm I'm playing. I'm doing something. My, my TV in my bedroom was right next to a first floor window in our backyard, and when we were outside, there'd be occasion we open the window and flip the TV and pull it outside on the thing and play yep. video games outside on the back. Well, I'd watch Bulls <laughs> games. I, if, I, if I could get the, we had this like 35 foot coaxial cable and I would take that TV and I'd carry it and I'd set it right out there, right at the door, close the sliding door up to that cable and sit there and watch watch the Bulls game on WGN while I could play basketball and then as soon as it goes to commercial break, I'm out there, I'm going to, I'm, I'm Michael Jordan, I'm Sky Pippen, whatever. I'm, this is what I'm doing. Do you think kids do that anymore? Hell no. Where they say, no. I, I'm three, two, no. one. I, I, kids do that. Kids, kids do the three, two, the, one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bottom of the ninth, oh, two yeah. outs. No, they, don't do the, they don't do the bottom of the ninth. You Nobody plays they... pickup baseball anymore. Oh, they do man. Gosh, we used to do it. Just I would imagining, though. But just imagining. I used to do that by myself. Throw the ball up. You know, hey, it's... Three, two, count. Yeah. I meant on. Hey, I had to do that too. I was the only child. Uh-huh. Hey, you're Ask, pitching yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Ask a kid to do that now. They can't do it. You don't think they kids Toss do the ball it? up and hit it. I, I've uh, got bats. softball and baseball players. We play fungal golf mm-hmm. at practice every now and then. 
and it's they they cannot toss a ball up and swing a bat and oh hit it. Oh my god, I could probably smack that a lot oh, better than I, I mean, can any hey, other hey, way. Don't don't I worry, I, I couldn't because there was this time where I had to throw up the you know try to do some in and out with the baseball kids. Yeah, that was a complete <laughs> <old> show. <laughs> but they, they thanks, Coach Catcher side for that video. <laughs> Look so, at right. right. you. I would guarantee. I would probably venture to guess you could ask all conference baseball players to do it, and some of them couldn't do it. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have to ask I'm my surgical son with those fungos now. Yeah. Surgical yeah. with it. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, right. You're probably right. right. Yeah. Did you just say you're surgical with it? Yeah, you wow. never heard that saying? Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. You know, I'm usually I'm other people give compliments. At, by the this end of dude, I'm surgical I'm with it. With the fungo. <laughs> with I know. Fungo. By the end of the hey, softball yeah. season, I'm pretty pinpoint with yeah. the fungo bat. So. Yeah. Well, hey, let's take a super, super short break super. while we get the... I know, somebody says I'm pro- procrastinating. <laughs> Pro- <laughs> procrastinating. <laughs> so, Kevin, we'll, we'll take a short, short commercial break here, and then when we come back, it's a pack. It's a pack. Okay. This is the uh, Coach's Box. Yeah, it's Coach's Box. <sighs> For your party, TJ's Bar and Grill has you covered. TJ's is a local mom and pop establishment in Missouri, known for their all homemade pizza sauce, barbecue sauce, and their famous TJ's pizza sauce. Seven days a week, they are family friendly, biker friendly, and open to you. Come by or order by phone with your credit card at 646 experience for all her customers. Whether you're a first-time buyer or experienced seller, Kelly Kaufman has the tools to deliver the best client experience in the industry. Give Kelly a call today at 314-221-6090 and let her Uh-huh. All right, yeah. we are back. We're back. Riley, we are going hey, to. Somebody got this on video. We need to make sure we video yeah, this. Too. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. Try it. Riley. I need to take my mic off. Yes, right? you do. That yeah. might be a yes, good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, Not my well. equipment. I wasn't too worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Take this that. is ridiculous, dude. He did not have that much on there. 
<laughs> hey, I guess you're well liked right here, man. We got the nickname Jughead, so <laughs> we gotta have a lot more. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, right. Right. Space. You got a towel. What is this guy doing? Dude, hey, I, I want my Kobe hoodie to get. Oh, shouldn't have wore it. You know hey, what's happening. Thank you, thank yes. you to all of the the followers, viewers of the show. We've reached 1,200, and like because it. of that, the Fox. show has reached a new <laughs> the low. The show has reached a new low. Well, it's reached a new high in three, two, two. one. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get some, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh, let's see the face. Oh, you're wiping oh, the you're wiping <laughs> Yeah. How about that one? Oh, there we go. Jason, Jason, Jason. You, got, you, got some, you got some white stuff. Like <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. Oh, oh gosh. All right. Well, hey, we want to thank you very, very much. Oh, look at there. Oh, oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> I'm good now. Yeah. I'm good. Oh, well, go ahead, we'll Riley. We do want to. We want to say a big thank you to all of our 1,200 plus followers. All right, who's uh, next? And we're. Uh, we're 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 looking up oh, for that oh, oh, for that lucky thirteen lucky thirteen. Yeah, I think we got to move it up to thirteen. Lucky thirteen. I, I'll, I'll, move move it up. I'll move it up. I'll move it up to thirteen. Change the goal line. <laughs> so we got two weeks here before we have another show. Okay, so got you got two long. weeks to get a hundred people to like our show. So share it, like it. You get to see my ugly face in with a pie in. Mm. So. Maybe that'll be in two weeks when I have that chest pie, and I'll just let you put that in my face. <laughs> I, I thought you said it was good to eat it. It is. That's why you can put it in my face. I'll eat it. Off, off your face. <laughs> <laughs> just call it. Oh, oh, you guys are crazy. Oh, my God. Wow. Right, well, I'm going to turn it over to you, gentlemen. You can right, what call us out. Yeah. Would you please, somebody at some point, mute this guy? No. <laughs> but, uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, but for... <laughs> Uh, but oh, we, wow. we will, uh, That's we will, the refs say. <laughs> <laughs> so for all of us here at the coach's box, we want to uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we didn't really talk about Christmas a whole lot. No, well, but uh, that's more politically correct. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, Merry Christmas to everybody. Yes, yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Happy Christmas Hanukkah. to all of our uh, what is, followers and viewers. Go through the whole list of them. How many is there? And Merry Christmas to all of you and your families. Absolutely. Uh, you know, enjoy it. Uh, you know, it's been a crazy year, so enjoy the time with your family and what friends, are, and so we appreciate it. the uh, calendar, I mean, we're probably going to take next week off, yes, and then that's going to be Happy New year, year, then, and yes. then have a Happy New Year yes, as well. Yes, so we will not so see be, you for that, yes. Well, it'll be a, uh, a new year. So, and it, I, I, I just hope. Put that mic back on, you're sitting there like, <laughs> 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 I just, it's probably got enough as no. Uh, I just else. hope we're still yeah. playing basketball on New Year's, that to be New Year's Eve. That'd, that'd, be, that'd nice. be nice. That would be nice. And then, so, the other thing that we got, um, you know, is... Uh, next we, next episode will be episode 90. 90. Getting 90. Close. Ran really? away from 100 start, episodes. Start thinking about what you're going to do for uh, episode 100. What oh would you like gosh. to see? Let's uh, put yeah. that on the poll. What yeah. would you like to see episode 100 hey, Riley, be about? Hey, put that on Twitter. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> uh, I killed that. Boy? Boy? Don't get Put it on TikTok. I'm not sure you guys all saw oh, my TikTok okay. from this weekend. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, I saw it. <laughs> I, I, Something tells me I, we wouldn't. See I said right I was thinking, <laughs> what? Is and he, he won't play my daughter on varsity. And he better <laughs> put that TikTok. You'll make a damn TikTok video. Which won't be my <laughs> and what was it? Spirit finger? Yeah, they, they I don't know what you were doing. They had me doing all kinds of craziness in those TikTok videos, and I was like, okay. Team so when they did the spirit bonding, I was like, whoop, we're done. We're done. That's the last one I did. <laughs> yeah, well, that was. Um, hey, but it's it's all about team bonding. You got it right. Yeah, it was interesting. I got that video. message, yeah, that sure. video. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was about like uh, that picture that was taken of me on the sidelines. That was all By over the way, if everything you under have, the sun. If you have more pictures of Coach Blair, send please them. send them. Send them. <laughs> send them here. Send them yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, Coach I had Fox. a great video of him. It was my first or second year coaching at Herky, and I went to one of his games in that Doe Run tournament, and I recorded him while he was coaching, and it was 
awesome. It came up on my time hop the other day. I'm like, man. Can you send me that for oh, boy. no particular reason at all? <laughs> Should bring nice it. commercial. Bring it. Oh. I'm just saying. I'm just glad that I didn't turn 40 on the show, like the night of a show. That was good. That was, thank goodness for that. <laughs> hey. That would have been bad news. You, I, I want to say, we did that last commercial. I thought they were going to, I thought Facebook police were going to get us because I used that music. <laughs> well, they got you on the one commercial. They shut it down. Which one? The last one? The one that was like Star, or I don't know, Star Wars or that whatever it was. What was it? It's, it's classical. It's classical music. Classical. Uh, whatever it was, it was trademarked is what it was said. It? Yeah. Well, it was playing for me. I don't know. Well, I'm just well, saying. Star Wars, Star Thanks, Trek. Facebook police. We're just trying to have fun over here. No fun. No. You you can't use copyright stuff. That's what Meta says. I don't think they had copyright back in the uh, 1800s, well, 1700s. Well, when they wrote, what was it, Carmina Burana, that's, uh, it was in 1937. Oh. They so. did. It didn't, went with, hey, that's mine, and then shot it. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> Challenge you to the duel. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, from all of us here at the Coach's Box, we wish you Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Hey, and eat some Happy chest holiday. pie over. Eat some chest, chest pie. pie. Enjoy time with your family. <laughs> We and will see you guys. Happy New Year. We will see you guys. Ap- we will see you guys next year, and um, hopefully, hopefully, and we'll see if uh, Miller's up to tech number three. Doubt it. Hardly. Uh, I'm Ill hardly. I don't know. Turn over new leaf. This is New Year's resolution. N- no. New Year's revolution. New Year's <laughs> revolution. Yes. Yeah. That's oh my God. Okay, anyway. All right. From all of us, your coaches box. You guys have a happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and everything yes. in between. We will see you guys in a couple weeks. Have a good one. Peace.